Hey everyone, James here with Rococo, and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I wanted to show you guys all about the different shortcut keys that we have built inside of Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing that I actually want to point out is that um, you can actually view the shortcut keys in the settings. So if you go up here to um, the, this cogwheel, you can click that and go down to help and guides and you'll see short, show shortcut keys. If you click on this, you can see um, some of the different keys that we have built inside of Studio. So I'm just going to go through all of the different ones that we have just so that you are aware um, of them and how to increase your efficiency within the Studio. So our first one that we're going to go ahead and show you is um, creating segments within your recording. Um, so we have this recording here of um, uh, an actor in our smart suit and um, kind of just running around. And um, what we can do is divide this particular recording into different segments. So say if there is a particular section that you liked and you just want to export out that particular section. So for instance, I'm going to just um, do this turn around and then slight walk ahead. Um, so if you want to just uh, create a particular segment for that, all you need to do is hold shift and then drag on your timeline and you're going to be creating a segment just like this. And then you let go and this is your segment. So if you hold shift, you can then see the name of the segment. And if you click on it, you can rename it. I'll just rename it to new animation. And then um, you can also um, adjust the start frame and the end frame of them. So say if you want it to end. Uh, maybe like right here you can do that and then you can also delete it um, if you don't no longer need this segment um, and then you can also create uh, a new take with this particular segment so if you click on this it will create a new take right up here and then you can open it up and it'll open it up without any of the filters applied so it'll look a little weird at first but all you need to do is click on our filters and we had our locomotion, uh, the foot IK and the toe bend turned on and then you just want to hit process changes and then just go ahead and do that. And then when you play it now, it should look good. So then you can just go ahead and uh, um, update this particular segment, you know, make any changes you to it. And then you can export this particular segment out um, by clicking the export button. Um, so that is the segments. So let's go back to our other take. And then um, the next shortcut that I want to talk about is the um, playback. Um, so you can just, instead of going down here and pressing the play and stop buttons to play and stop your animation, you can actually press the space bar to do that. Um, very simple, very easy. Um, so you just press um, the space bar. Um, and then also if you have a suit enabled, um, you can press the R key to record. I currently don't have a, uh, a smart suit live in our um, studio, so it's t currently telling me that, but you can press the R key to start and stop your recordings. Um, and then what we also have is navigation inside of this view. Um, so you can actually fly around in this view, and the way you do that is just by using the, the WASD keys. Um, it's very similar to um, you know Unreal and Unity. If you go ahead and just um, press A to go left, D right, W forward, S backwards, and you can even go up and down, Q is down, and E is up. And so that will allow you to kind of navigate within the space. And then if you hold down the right click, you can navigate around, look all around, and then if you also hold shift, you'll um, rotate around your particular character. So this should help when you're cleaning up and you need to get really close into like, say like the feet and um, um, just, you know, have a better look at things, you can do that. And then, uh, so once you've gotten that down, you can actually then use the arrow keys to um, jump between frames. So if you press down, it'll go to the last frame of your recording. Pressing up goes to the very first frame. Um, pressing right arrow um, goes through by, uh, you know, by each frame. And then um, pressing left on the arrow goes to each of the previous frames. So um, that's just a quick way to kind of um, pinpoint out which specific frame that you want to find. And then some other toggles that we have are um, our mirror view. So say if you play this and you're, you're seeing how it's um, playing throughout, if you want to mirror this particular animation, you just press M on the keyboard and it mirrors um, the animation. You can press it again to turn it off. 
turn it on, off and on. And you'll notice the little icon for it is right up here. So it mirrors the camera. So there's that. Um, and then if say if your character is a bit off screen and you want to focus to your character, you can press the F key and it'll navigate right to your character so it puts them back in focus. So say if like you're far off and you want to zoom in, press the F key and right in focus. Um, we also have our presentation view. So if you press F11 on your keyboard, it takes away a lot of the UI. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. And, and even um, we can minimize this. So say if you just want a, a, a good um, view of just the scene itself, you can press F11 and it'll um, give you this presentation view. Um, and then also we can toggle um, going into full screen. Currently we're in full screen, so it utilizes our entire screen. Uh, but if we press Alt Enter, it will um, take us out of full screen. Alt Enter again, puts us back into full screen. And then the last shortcut that we have is just exiting um, SmartSuit Studio. Instead of going up, um, up here to Quit Studio, you can just um, click Alt F4 and um, on on your Windows PC, you can press Alt F4 and that'll close out a studio. Um, if you're on on uh, Mac, you can do Command Q. And um, also for Mac, um, instead of Alt Enter for the um, uh, full screen, you can do Command F and that will um, do the same exact thing. Um, but that is pretty much it. Those are all of your shortcuts. Um, I will list everything out in the description so you have an, uh, an idea of you know what all of the keys do and they'll have a little time jumps within the video so you can see exactly um, where in the video that particular shortcut is being discussed. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.